Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Skyblock Survival. I'm sorry it's been a few days, unfortunately as of late it would seem that YouTube's programmers are harder at work than ever trying to break as many things as they possibly can, making it kind of difficult to upload videos, unfortunately. But we're here, at last. I hope. <laughs> and we're in our new mushroom house and as you might be able to tell I decided to take out the center column because I realized that was taking up quite a bit of usable space in version 1.0 of our mushroom house that got griefed by Enderman but now we've got our bed, chest, workbench, bookshelf for some decoration and even a torch on the top just to protect ourselves from a repeat of last time. Oh and some some fancy half steps up because I made those last time and ended up not using them for the flooring. So anyway, looks like we've got three watermelon at once. I don't think we've ever been able to harvest this many before in one go, at least. So that's nice. That's a good thing to exit the house and, and walk up to. I also decided to add a guardrail down by the fishing pool just so that wouldn't be so sketchy walking around here and, and risking falling off when perhaps fishing. I haven't really retried that yet. <laughs> Cause uh yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem to go too well for me, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm thinking this time might be good to focus on completing some challenges. So we've completed quite a bit at this point, obviously, but we've still got some more to do. So one is make forty stone bricks, then ten mushroom stew. 10 jack-o'-lanterns, 10 bookcases, 10 ender pearls. Those last three we've obviously already completed partially. Then 20 paintings, 10 fish, and 10 wool blocks of each of the following colors. Black, gray, light gray, lime green, red, yellow, pink, green, and orange. Which is a lot of wool. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure you guys would be too interested in watching me sit around attempting to collect the 400 or so string pieces needed in order to craft that many pieces of wool and then harvest all that dye from cacti and flowers and that would be quite a process so I may depending on your response just go ahead and get at least one of each of those because that's the main challenge is is gathering those resources in the first place or, or figuring out a way to harvest them rather than just waiting for it to grow over and over and over so there's that but anyway actually before we get to that we've got some uh, some fixing to do on our enderman spawner that has thus far not been working too well <laughs> unfortunately but good 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 suggestions from a lot of people oh okay never mind scratch that our enderman spawner has been working very well i didn't even realize this <laughs> oh my god it's like a piece of cheese seriously okay <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little two-block overhang on top of the drop. That way, no Enderman can fall through. And that was uh, a very good suggestion, and I'm sorry I didn't think of that earlier, but holy crap. This thing is just literally turning into Swiss cheese. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't think we have a problem actually getting Enderman to spawn. It is merely getting them to stay so at least until we can come in here and uh and harvest their pearls mm-hmm okay so this should keep endermen from actually falling through and hopefully the next time we check this we will actually have a live specimen to deal with i realize i could also um do the same sort of thing over the edges rather than having it enclosed except then it would leak in a lot of daylight and they would only spawn at night and, meh, it'd be nice to have them spawning at all times, especially because then we can deal with them in the daytime. But, uh, yeah, okay, I need to go back and and get a hoe, bro. I should just keep that in my inventory at all times, I'm realizing at this point. So, yeah. It may actually be about time to consider what we do. Whoops, I didn't mean to harvest that. Maybe about time to consider what we're going to do when I actually do complete all the challenges. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know why it won't turn into dirt with my walking over it. I bet these will pretty much instantly. Nope, I guess. What is with this super tilled soil? 
Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Huh. Apparently I can no longer turn tilled soil into... There we go. Oh boy. That was crazy. Seems it only happens when you don't want it to. Anyway. Anyway. Let's collect some of our cactus. And I think, well, aside from going to bed, we can actually go ahead and use some bone meal, which we don't have in our inventory either, in order to harvest a bit of wild grass. Let's get some more, because we are going to need some flowers in order to obtain red and yellow dye. So let's do that. There we go. So we're just going to have to keep doing this over and over until we get uh, a few flowers. And then I will let you guys inform me of what you would like to see as far as um, as far as how many blocks of wool I should make for, uh, for each one of the colors. Also, kind of confused about black wool. I'm not sure if that's possible, actually. Black wool and then obviously from there, the, the light gray wool because um, it requires black to do that, at least to my knowledge. Because, well, let's actually go to sleep. I don't know if it's possible to get squid to spawn because, to my knowledge, in 1.8 and later, animals spawn with chunk generation, and therefore, when we began our quest on pre-generated land that didn't have any animals on it, I'm not sure it's actually possible for any to spawn. Either that, or it is, and they're just not going to spawn in an infinitely <laughs> dropping pool. There's that, too. I'm not sure what the restrictions are in the uh, the code as far as squid spawning. So, yeah. At least we're getting quite a few flowers, so that's nice. I guess we can keep doing this until we've got... Whew, I don't even know how many we need in order to craft 10 dye, assuming the worst. <laughs> 10 dye of, and then we've got to create secondary and tertiary colors, and oh boy, we need a lot. We really need a lot. Oh well. For now, we can start off with what we've got here, which is 8 and 6. I'll just live with that for now. Let's replant the sugar cane. And we shall go ahead and harvest some of this. Let's actually make some dyes at this point. We haven't done that yet, and it may be worthwhile. So lots of cacti and flowers. And yeah, should be good. Okay, so red dye and yellow dye, and we need to cook our cactus in order to create green dye. So I guess what is it? We need oh let's make let's make ten and I think we'll need about eight. Seven or eight um planks of wood in order to do that. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just put that in for now. And we'll just see what we get out of that. Now in the meantime Let's actually make some mushroom soup and get that challenge out of the way because we have quite an excess of mushrooms. So three rounds should be enough. Twelve bowls. And let's grab our mushrooms. One of each. And we'll make some mushroom stew. There we are. Okay. Twelve mushroom stews. Oh, I didn't realize that mushroom stew still doesn't stack. <laughs> That's cool. That's taken up quite a lot of space in my inventory. All right, let's see if we've gotten any dye so far. Yes, we have. And we'll just keep waiting for that to finish up. In the meantime, let's put back everything that we don't need immediately. So I guess we can throw some mushroom stew in here and fill up our entire chest with it and some dyes, cactus, and still a bit more. Okay, let's see if we've gotten 
any more pieces of string and then we can craft oh, about as many wool as we possibly can at this point in time before waiting on the mob spawner to just <laughs> to to just keep killing spiders over and over it'll take a while to get 400 string if we decide that's actually the plan of attack we're gonna go for so we'll see I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys if you want to see me collecting 400 pieces of string and then crafting it all I don't know if it's exactly 400 I'm just wild estimation okay 10 pieces of dye and let's make some wool as many as we possibly can at least 31 pieces <laughs> frights that's enough to complete three sets of dye. Actually, we could go ahead and combine some dye in order to make some orange. Shouldn't have done that. I just I just wasted a bunch. <laughs> Darn it, now I have 32 pieces of orange dye. Genius. Genius, I tell you. Okay, now we need to go and collect some more dandelion and, and rose. Now I've gotten in the habit of <laughs> pressing shift. <sighs> oh, bad habit. Bad habit. We'll get at least, we'll try to get at least five of each. Hopefully. So that's four yellow, two red, six yellow, two red. Six yellow, four red. We're close, we're close. In the meantime though, might be a good idea, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, to, uh, since we are getting close to completing all the challenges, decide on what we should do afterwards, because I realize I, I don't think too many people really want for me to just call it, call it all said and done, even once I complete all the challenges, because uh, it seems to be quite a, a popular little series. So I was thinking, and you guys can, can tell me what you think of this as well, of perhaps after we complete all the challenges we switch on over and uh, we, we keep we keep everything but instead of constructing everything vanilla only we switch on over to too many items and single-player commands zombie so on and so forth and we we just add some cool stuff with pistons redstone and have fun that way so that was my idea and I'll leave it up to you guys to uh, to give me your verdict on what you think of that and hopefully hopefully it sounds like a good idea I'll keep my fingers crossed all right I think we've gotten enough so far <laughs> 